Now, what happens in a higher UV index is it increases melanin, and melanin provides antioxidant protection by reducing oxidative stress. Now, picture this. We're in a position, Steve, you and I, where we are operating between this optimal upper and lower limit. Now we're exposed to this higher UV index. This increase in melanin has driven oxid oxidative stress further down, but we're already in an optimal range. And now it's led to reductive stress. Now we start to suffer with a whole host of problems. Um, and now we, we feel like we, we're not operating correctly and we feel like we need to consume some form of carbohydrate. And, and that's exactly what we do. And the reason for this, and let's get into this. This, this looks super complicated, but I promise it's simple. This, this is a glucose molecule and how it travels through the body. It travels in two forms, in its linear form and the cyclical form. When it's in its linear form, it becomes highly reactive. And we can see this carbon double bond oxygen. This is where glycation begins. Now, glycation, you click the screen. Glycation will go through a series of steps. Uh, it, it will create something called an amidori product via an amidori reaction, and it will lead to an advanced glycation end product. 